day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. You have to bear these fruits. That's that's a matter of perspective it of, is. of the kingdom, but that the kingdom of God comes not by observation; it's revealed from within, according to the scripture, right? It is, it is. So yeah. Individuals who are brought to college, I mean, to Christ and the rulership of Christ, who right. manifest His lordship in their lives, that right. comes the kingdom in in, in 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 that you can observe. Yes, sir. The world system itself cannot be salvaged. So we're trying to save people out of that system. It's almost like flushing the toilet while you're fishing. Exactly. Okay. Because you didn't flush. You try to get as many <laughs> out of there before the system just corrupts. Now, I want to make sure you understand that, but maybe we may have went to a, a trail that I didn't, when, with the intent of not going through. I'm not trying to change the system. Okay. I'm not trying to try the God of this world system. Right. What I'm saying is that Christ came to change the hearts of men. Men. Yeah. <laughs> Right, because we're in this world, but we're not of this world. Not we're no longer of this world. We used to be. Well, we, we we're still in this world. We're not of this. We're world. Not of it. Is the fact is that you still work somewhere. You still work somewhere. You still operate somewhere. You're gonna be in the world system, but you have a king that operates outside of that king, the world system, and it does trouble the world system. Yes. That you rely on a king that they can't control, they can't corrupt, because he's he's above how what principality, he's above all these things. Yes. And and we we and as long as we're preaching and teaching to look up and saying our king is here, I don't need your vain glory. That's right. I don't need your promotion, I don't need your money. I don't need nothing you got. <laughs> I'm gonna try otherwise my source is through him, he may use you. <laughs> You know I mean, he may, I don't care how he wants to give me the resources I need, but my expectation is always looking toward him. And I'm saying that, I'm thinking and saying is that he, even, I'm saying even back then, just like, look, little another example. Remember when they was going into Jericho? Remember they, they, they were already, the people were already afraid of the children of Israel? And you know, if they even if they come back in numbers and cross that, went into their promised land the first time, they would like like Joshua or Caleb said, they were bread yeah. to us. Because God is already working. He goes before us. And I'm saying the saying is as we've planted a seed into mankind, because I don't know who we picked to be saved. So it's not my job to do that. It's my job to preach the gospel. It's my job to go ahead and, and tell people, though, because I think it's a concern I have is if, if my white brothers, my police officers who claim to be Christians, if they're not being taught to bear fruit, then if they don't even know what that is, we need to make sure they know what it is and have an expectation for them. Look, I don't care whether you're upset. I don't care if somebody made you to think that all black peoples are, are the same and they're just repeat offenders. I want you as a Christian, if you receive Christ, is to say, he ain't talking about my brother. You may be talking, you, I don't know about those other people over there, but I talk about my brother. If he's a brother in Christ, he's not an evildoer. And I'm See, not gonna treat him as an evildoer. This is, this is where I may differ with a lot of people because I have a tendency to believe that when you are born again, mm -hmm. you receive the Spirit of God. And what yes, comes with the Spirit of God, the first thing you get is love. That's yes, been said, yeah. right? Yeah. So if you're operating out of love, yes, sir. then you can subscribe to being a Christian. But what we have is people that are confessing to be a Christian, and really they're not, right. simply because that spirit has not changed. Yes, sir. And it says very specifically, by this shall all men know that you're my disciples if you have love one oh, to another. Oh, oh, oh. So mm -hmm. it also says, he that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. Yes, so sir. one of the main things that we use to identify whether a person is a believer or not, is yeah. whether or not any love is manifest. Now, this love that we have 
across all societal boundaries that have been mm-hmm. set up through race, through yeah. uh, 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 finances or whatever, has absolutely nothing to do with it. We love people simply because of the love of God that's in us. Yes. And that's the consistency that is to be in all believers. Now this, when you begin to believe that someone is a believer when they live like the devil, you, you set yourself up for deception. Well, let's, let's okay, not, not, now understand this. Yeah. Not saying that there's not times when people do things wrong, because yes, we will, we'll fall. Yeah. But you see, there's a fix to that. A person that falls in Christ, somewhere along the line is going to apologize. Somewhere along the line is going to get that correct. But if a person does not have the uh, mindset nor the heart to get those things fixed, you probably can conclude they're not God. Well, you know, tell you about Charles, I, I was looking at that, and that, and I want to first put caveat the piece that uh, the Bible said you come in as a child of God. You come in, you know, taking milk, not meat. Okay. So you, you, right. you, you can, there's some growth in there. And, and even yes. Romans said, the one he read in Romans 12, is said, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. So there's a transformation that goes on. Um, and I even had a minister, we were a minister, but a man, I sat there and preached in, in Korea, and he said, I've been going to church for 50 years, I've never understood the word until then. And then we're going to use the historical aspect of 400 years of slavery, the people was being taught by the ministers, who probably what you would say is not saved, but proclaim the first they were, mm-hmm. even people as, as babes, in Christ. In other words, they were they were they, they stayed on milk. They didn't stay on, you know, they didn't try to rise them up for to have meat to understand that this love. And I'm saying is that that's what you may even see today. Even when somebody puts somebody out of the church in the traditional black churches, it, that's not love. That's 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 outside the operate, but yet they are Christians. But they've been taught that that is the right thing to do. So what we have to sit there and say that I, I don't, the Bible said a tree is known by its fruit. But the problem that I think we have is people not cultivating the, the, the ministry that goes to equip the saints to be the church. Yes. See, and I'm, it, not, in dispute. I'm yeah. not in dispute with that. Yeah. Uh, because I, my perspective also, I've seen how that they're not getting what they need to be transformed. They're getting yes, what no. they need to sustain yes, them so. right Thank where you. they are. Yeah, okay. it's it's Christ. it's not perfecting the church. Exactly. It's it's perfecting the the. I mean, they're not perfecting them to do the work of the ministry. Come on, bro. They're perfecting yes. them to do the work of the church. You're talking yes. that. You're talking and that's that. then that's the issue that we're having. That's the issue we're having because I guarantee you, if you sit there and, and, and you can do a survey yourself, walk up to any police officer. I ain't somebody any officer say that, but many of them and say, "Are you saved?" Are you a Christian? You see them at your church. You know, some of the churches, you know, big churches. Remember at CFC, you know, you know the police officers uh, being security for the church, right, Elder? Mm-hmm. They, I bet if you ask them, are you saved? Yeah, I'm saved. But yet at the same time, I got hate. I got unforgiveness in me. And that's another thing. If y'all remember when you do ministry, when you do the message on forgiveness, unforgiveness, how many people, if they had a shoe, how many people does it hit? A motor. <laughs> Why? Because Why? We don't. We think it's a light sin. We think it's a small thing. <laughs> we think it's acceptable, and we yeah. don't sit there and try to reinforce the complete gospel. But no, you can't cover every message every Sunday. But you got to make sure you bring back, and the faith comes by hearing. Hey, you got to love. Unforgiveness is not love. You know, you I, I think there's a. Gen- there's a common place that we should be trying to get to or get yes. each individual to and that's yeah. in the face of Christ yeah face be, I, 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 trying to enhance that person's personal relationship with the Lord yes so sir talk yes, to sir. him and tell them what he's trying to do with them right not in that. but that's I think the, I, I think as excuse me I think it is that I'm saying is we know I start off with the fruits of the spirit is I think we need to also reinforce the, the love of Christ that love, that fruit, that first characteristic of the fruit is love, isn't it? That's true. Yeah. The yeah. question, you remember the one scripture we just read that except you abide in me? Yeah, we also let Charles finish reading that, shouldn't we? 
<laughs> we still let her read it. Can, can, can you let her read it? Then you then you finish up, so he can. Can we should? Can you use it? You referencing it? Maybe we should let Charles finish it. Can we do that? And then let you finish up your thought. No. Elvin, let's do that, Charles. Let's go and finish up. We said what? The one to seventeen, right? So let's do right. that because we we refer to something. Maybe we need to make sure that people know because y'all keep thinking people know. I'm not saying y'all do, but I think that some people think that they know something, but they probably haven't even read it. We know a lot of people don't read the Bible anyway. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'll pick back up at one. We'll just go straight through. I, I am hear. the true vine, and my father is the husband man. Every branch of me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the words which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, Come the on. same bringeth forth much fruit. Much For without fruit. me, you can do nothing. <laughs> if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Come on, brother. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much Woo fruit. Come on, So man. shall ye be my disciples. Come on, As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. Come on, now. If you keep my commandments, you yes, shall sir. abide in my love, <laughs> even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. Yes, sir. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Amen. Greater love hath no man than this, uh -huh. that a man lay down his life for his friends. Yes, sir. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Come on, come on. Henceforth I call you not servants, uh -huh. for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. Come on. But I've called you friends. Yes. For all things that I've heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. Yes. You have not chosen me, but I've chosen you and ordained you. Yes. That ye should go forth and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. Come on. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you, that ye love one another. Hey, Elder, there you go ahead and complete your thought, Elder. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think that, that, that there's some there's some basic concepts <laughs> that we did not actually master, or we did not communicate well to one another when we started out this walk. <laughs> yes. uh, except we abide in Christ, the fruits of the Spirit are not going to be evident in us. Nope. Because he's the source. Nope. We have got, got to teach people how to literally connect with him because that's what he died for. The gospel is a reconciliation. Exactly. The gospel is reconciliation. We are now reconciled to our Father by the works of the Lord Jesus Christ here on the cross. We are yeah. now returned to the state in the garden. So his spirit is flowing through us, and as a result of that spirit being in us, we should be able to manifest those fruits yeah. of that fruit. And why, 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 what moved to prevent you from doing that? What did possess me initially? No, no. What would prevent you from doing it? English will have some, some, something to do with that. That's why I think we have to be taught. Uh, because cognitively, I might not even be aware that I should. <laughs> Spiritually, I, it's in me, but cognitively, I don't know. I know I feel weird about what I'm doing, but I don't know why. Because I was taught, you know, dog eat dog. I was taught survival of the fittest. I was taught command that we need to, to dominate the street. Come on now. Oh my God. God. That's the part of the world system, but it's not a part of the of the kingdom of God. And that's what I think what happened when they when uh you know when they and I ain't putting the Catholic down, I'm just trying to say something. You know when 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 that Constantine brought the church, you know, he tried to kill the church before, right? They yeah. they, they tried to they tried to burn them at the stake, they put them in the arena, they tried they did all kind of bad things. And they couldn't kill them. And they couldn't <laughs> they kill them. Quit. So what they do, Elder? They so wouldn't quit. Why, why not just, so why not, what I do is, why not just merge them into my system? And corrupt them. And corrupt the system. I'm saying the power of most ministries, and that's the point I'm saying is when he said, I send you pastors and prophets and all these other people, and I commission you, I'm throwing that at you too, is to preach the gospel. And the gospel is not exclusion. That's why we said in my, the video I sent out uh, 
this week, Brother Addison, Christ is not a racist. If somebody is teaching you to hate, that ain't God. That ain't God. If somebody teach you not to forgive, that ain't God. If somebody is teaching you to be not gentle, but God. but be seditious, mm -hmm. rioting, and wrathful, that ain't God. But I think I'm just wanted to uh, read. Now I ain't talking about. I'm talking about the bigger sister, the bigger church, the biggest body. There's ministers, there's ministers, <clears throat> and I want ministers to hear this. If you're not teaching people to love, you just. But Brother Charles just said it. The scripture said that he who hated is a murderer, and a murderer has no part in me. Amen. If we don't sit there and teach people that the fruit is what you're supposed to operate in and remind them on that, I don't think they're going to do it. And they're not doing it. And that's what you see. That's why you have people thinking they're doing the right thing, doing the wrong thing. That's why the Spanish Inquisition, they killed those people. And they thought the people who did it, the soldiers and all that stuff, they thought they were doing the right thing because their leader told them to do it. The Crusade, same thing. Same thing. They were rude. To, I mean, they were brutal. When they went in the Five hundred dollar line. Five hundred dollar line. The ten dollar line. Then they turned people up. How about the dog age? The dog age. We talked about it last week. In the dog age, they even banned. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you remember the dog age? They even banned yeah. the, the Bible. Then they, brother Addison, they banned it, the Bible. Yeah. For years, I think in 1970 or something, is when they actually stopped speaking Latin and started yes, reading the doggone scripture for the people to hear it. That's right. I was an altar boy, didn't understand none of it. <laughs> and yet those people were trying to do and be what Christ called them to be, but they don't know because my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Amen. Amen. But yet God still made a way. Yeah, he's still making a way. He's making a way through you. He's making a way through anybody who's willing to go and preach the gospel. He's doing it, but I'm trying to tell you, he said greater works will do. You know something, when it talks about he would give pastors after his own heart. Yes, sir. I understand it. That's happening now. Yes, sir. But the changes that I have gone through on a personal note over the last maybe 10, 15 years, have been unlike anything I've experienced in my Christian walk up until that point. I mean, oh. my perspective on the word itself yes, sir. has changed. Yeah. I mean, and it wasn't because I was trying to do the wrong thing. I was just taught wrong. Was, that's, the, that's what Amen. I'm trying to say. Charles, that's what I'm trying to say. The people have been taught the, the heart in their heart opposed to giving their heart. You know, when, they, when he read Brother Addison about the living sacrifice, now, maybe they don't understand what that means. That means that means sometimes I gotta sit there and suck it up because they, this hard headed stiff neck person ain't getting it. But Jesus never gave up on those children of Israel that were hard and stiff neck. God didn't give up on them. God wanted to give up on them sometimes. <laughs> God, God wanted to start on <laughs> How long must I be with you? <laughs> whoa, 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 wait up, wait up. There was, a time, there was a time when God was getting ready to destroy him, but Moses had to intercede for him. He did. Okay? He, he wanted to take him out. And he wanted to start over and do stuff different. But not only that, but you also have the times when he allowed them to be put in the bondage simply because they weren't acting according to his will. So judgment yeah. came down on him. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. That's it's a tendency. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm saying it's, it's, it's just a fact of how people... Don't I've said I was looking at one and, and was it um after Joshua died? What was that book after Joshua? What was that? That king? Judges. 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 Yeah. And, and you remember that was a there was a time it said it was a very critical they said that people didn't know God. Yeah. The, whose responsibility for them to know God? It was the people before them, the generations before them, right? Right. That's why even Christ said for the communion. I do this in re what? In remembrance of me. And I'm saying is that if he told us to bear fruit, and that's what that's what y'all just read. Mm -hmm. If he tells us to go and love one another, that's what that's what he just read. Mm -hmm. If he said to lay down your life, 
<laughs> that means sometimes I gotta suck it up, brother Addison. I'm laying my life down for a bigger cause. Yeah, yeah all the time. It's all the time. All I, the time. I want them to know, catch it on videotape. Jesus Christ, I would, I would love to hear sometime. Matter of fact, hey, let's put that on the, on the, on the put this out on, on the YouTube to make sure. Hey, next time when, the, when you sit there and get crucified by the police, yell out Jesus and tell them that Jesus Christ, my personal Lord and Savior. Let them know that what fruit are you bearing? Because I'm telling you right now, I'm a child of God. I have not done anything wrong. However, Elder, like you said, don't be, don't not be, you gotta be a child of God. Don't be lying. <laughs> you see, even, even one of the foundational things that we have to grasp is that God is always well aware of whatever we're going through or confronted with. Now, sometimes we go through those things for the purpose of personal growth. Yes, sir. God yes. sees us being done wrong, and he don't have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. He's trying to see what you're going to do yeah. when you're yeah. done wrong. Yeah. You see, we, the objective is, is to walk in the spirit even when, even when it's difficult. Even when but it's see, difficult. We, want, we want justice. <laughs> when we're not treated fair, we want to fight. Yeah. And Christ says, hey, look, I got this. I got it. Right? That. And Definitely. we have to understand that we're not our own. Come on, we bro. belong to him. Come on, And if bro. we belong to him and somebody hurts me, that's not my problem. That's Ooh. his problem. That's yeah. his problem. Right? Yeah. And he <laughs> said, this is the kind of stuff he said about us. It would be better for you that a millstone was hung about your neck and you cast into the midst of the sea yeah. than for you to offend one of these little ones. Come on, man. See, that's the place that we're in. Yes, we're man. always trying to handle things ourselves. We let and as a result, we act just like the world. Come on, man. Right? But yeah. God wants to put it in his hands and let him take care of it. Yeah. He says, vengeance is mine. Come I on. will repay, saith the Lord. Yes, so he got all of that department. Come yeah, on, that's good word. What we that's need to understand is that's, that's not our department anymore. Yeah. What is expected from us is love. That's why he expects us to love our enemy. Why? He got the department of anything else that don't fall into that category. Exactly. You see the thing I right? think I lose sight All of. All he wants coming out of us is love. That's and it. we lose sight of the fact that he's able to protect us as well. They couldn't kill Paul. If we had to look at the things that Paul went through, Paul could have been dead a lot. But yeah, even yeah. Paul was protected. Jesus Christ would walk through the crowd saying, it's not my time yet. It's not my time. We are a protected group as long as we do it his way. Come on, bro. Walking in the spirit. Because, yeah. look, you can't turn the other cheek <laughs> unless you're walking in the spirit. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. I'm that's serious right. about that because it, it, it's going to take God. <laughs> that's he does not put my hands on somebody. The one and thing I think we keep we keep is <laughs> that it's him that raised up a people and pulled down another. Exactly. We would not get to places of prominence in the world, a system anywhere else, by fighting against people that we feel are oppressing us. Exactly. We have to submit ourselves to God and let him handle the small work. Exactly. I think he proved himself in this scenario with the COVID virus. Hundreds of thousands of people are dying by something that we can't even see. <laughs> it, it, it paralyzes the person supposed to be doing, do something about it. The, the, person, the, person, the person that operated in the flesh it doesn't have an answer. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't have an answer. And so how is it that he cannot, Israel would go to war with their opponents. In the night, angels would come and kill their opponents off. Or the next day, their opponents would get up and be confused and kill each other off. But Israel was always rising. Our, 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 our fight is not with men. No. Our fight is with the spirit and to save men from the bondage of Satan. Amen. And you know, yeah. the thing is, you can't do that unless you're meditating on these scriptures. That's now, true. If you're not meditating on these scriptures and getting them down in your spirit till the revelation is revealed down in your soul, yes, yes, sir. you're going to fight your own battle. You, that's what because the first thing that's going to come to your mind, well, the last thing that'll come to your mind is that God is going to have your back. That's yeah. right. Because yeah. that flesh is going to rise up and the only I thing that's it. superior to that flesh is the word of God. Yeah, yep. that, that flesh going to say, I got it. I got it. Bro, Amen. Bro, if we can get it, if we can get there, Lord, if we can just get to that point. No, we getting there. He told you. While we're getting there. Amen. We're going we're we're to wrap, we're gonna wrap it up, but we're going to, the Bible said, he has told us how to get there. And he told us, he said, to, to like John 14, 6, right? I am the way, 
the truth in the life. The truth in the life. No man coming to the Father but Hey, brother, as I like what he said, if Justin Prater said real good, if Jesus is the way, you can't get lost. That's right. If Jesus is the truth, you can't be deceived. And if Jesus is the life, you will not see death. See? Now you preach it. Most people don't understand that the eternal life we're focusing on. That's we right. already have a mansion already laid out for you. So God said, do it his way. All right? Well, so, eternal rap life is already rap. That's a rap. I'm I'm living an eternal life as we know. sit here right that's now. Why, that's why he said, don't get don't get so wrapped up with the cares of this world. Yes. And the deceiving of these riches because you already have those things in heavenly places. Mm -hmm. That way he said, set your affections where? Above. 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 Yeah. But we get wrapped up on affection on beneath. And that's where we lose out and don't do it. So, Brother Addison, to close out, because it is 9 o'clock, and I'm sorry. Charles, you can come back anytime. We, we're trying not to get I enjoyed you, brother. Yeah, <laughs> All right, bro. God bless, bro. We'll check in again. We, we, we try it. not to go this long, but, you know, it just, I think, but it was a good discussion, right? It was a good discussion. Oh, yeah. And, 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 and Brother Addison, close out with that, that parable again for us in Mark 4. Because, we got to understand this is why you see the police being rude or somebody else being rude to you is because they're coming after the word. Yeah. You really need to sit there and be, be joyful of that fact of what he's doing. Go ahead. It started it start off at 10. I think in the end said, uh, <clears throat> well, you bear much fruit, whatever that hundred four is. Okay. And when he was alone, they that were about him with the 12 asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. Yes, sir. That seeing, they may, they may see and not perceive. And hearing, they may hear and not understand. Yes, sir. Lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven. So we know what he's trying to do. Yes, sir. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? And how then will you know all parables? Yeah, the sower more. soweth the word. Yes. And these are they by the wayside. Come on now. Where the word is sown, mm -hmm. but when they have heard, yes, Satan sir. immediately and taketh he, Satan cometh immediately yes, and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. Yes, sir. And these are they likewise, which are sown on stony ground, mm -hmm. who, when they have heard the word, immediately yes, receive it with gladness. Oh, hallelujah. And have no root in themselves. That's and the so endure but for a time. Mm. Afterward, when affliction and persecution arises for the word's sake, mean immediately <laughs> they are offended. Come on. And these are they which are sown among thorns such as hear the word and the cares of this world well, and the deceitfulness of riches yes. and the lust of other things entering in choke the word and it becomes unfruitful. Come on, brother. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive it and bringeth forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixtyfold, and some hundredfold. Come on, bro. That, as you see what I'm saying is that if you look at all those things, like some cop beating you in the head or whatever, uh, it's, he's trying to offend you. He's trying to get somebody off their game. When affliction and all other stuff is trying to get you off your game, off the word, that's the enemy's tools. You know, so I think next time we have a discussion, we need to go over, milk back these uh, uh, attacks yeah. a little bit more, right? Yeah, I mean, that's necessary, yeah. I think so. I think we need to go and say, look, you need to be, take it not strange, you come on the fire of God, we need to know what these dots look like. Yeah. And, and, and the brother spoke earlier concerning one that's really, you spoke it, I think, earlier concerning unforgiveness. Yes. And how rampant it is in the church. Yes, <laughs> And it's one of the most debilitating <laughs> things that we experience is yeah. unforgiveness. It takes Man. us out of the of God. Just sit a person down in a heartbeat. Yes, sir. Ask yeah. them out. They do. And that's what he said. I was saying is that when people look at us, that's where they 
we our actions is, is, is part of the gospel too. And that, they're that, saying you got an issue with me and you can't keep control of yourself. If a pastor sit there and can't not sleep with somebody else, that you know, it's like that's the out of that calls what self-control? You lost self-control, right? Sure. You also operate outside of love too. And they said, why well, need the gospel? If y'all it ain't working on you. Wow. All right. Elder, prayers out, sir. Mm -hmm. Father God, thank you again for having visited us this evening. Lord, we can see it shaping up. We mm. thank you, Father, for having called us into this 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 period of revival in the in the world. Lord, the United States of America is now put on 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 the on the on the point on the pedestal to be observed by all that happens in the world right now. Lord Jesus, any everybody's eyes are on the U.S. Oh, yeah, so what yeah. we ask you to do is to use us to restore this nation to you, or to store this nation to you, not to restore. But the story to you in the first place. We thank you, Father God, that we're moving from being church folk to being saved. We thank you, Father God, that you are beginning to give us that, that new birth that's required to be submitted and following you as a nation. Lord God, we thank you for rising us to the pinnacle so that we can lead this nation into your presence. Lord, move in us. Move on Ooh. us, Lord God. I'm, I'm asking Ooh. you to begin to move on my part because I let the brothers come together in, in, in sincerity of heart and submit themselves to the Lord Jesus Christ that they may be used of God to draw the nations into his presence. Woo! Let them see our service to you and our love of you and our obedience to you, Lord God. Yeah. Even through the harsh times that you allowed us to suffer in this place, the preparation and the humiliation and the humbling that you have allowed us to go through, Lord God. You know, all in preparation to serve. All in preparation to serve. Fix our minds, Lord God. Fix yeah. our minds on you. Come and on. Just in our commitment that others may see you working in us and be drawn to you and receive eternal life, even as we have received it. Mm. We pray, Father God, that all that we do be done to your glory and to the furnace of your kingdom. Yeah. And I pray this in the name of my Lord, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Amen and amen. 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 Praise amen. You, man. Well, Charles, amen. we appreciate you. You'll be called our guest of honor for, the, for this video. <laughs> it, it, it'll right. out. Praise God. I enjoyed uh, everything. Amen. And Elder, he'll forward the video to you. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. If if you want to, you know, if not, just tell tell you get permission to give me the phone number. I'll put you in my distro. Uh, but uh, this is what we talk about. We use the word. We try to apply it to it today. Now. Okay. Praise God. Amen. All right, Praise brother. I hope y'all have a good night. All right. Y'all be blessed now. Be blessed. God bless you, fellas. Good to see you. Y'all.